Ron Scott here. Are you having trouble with your toilet? Is it filling too slow or not at all? Or after you flush, does it just keep running? Or is it really noisy? Or is there water on the floor after you flush? These are all symptoms of a toilet in need of repair. And today I'm going to show you how to do just that. The first thing you need to do is pick up one of these universal toilet repair kits at your local hardware store for about 25 bucks. It's also a good idea to have some Gojo on hand because this can be a dirty job. You will need some tools for this job, at least a screwdriver and an adjustable wrench. A box wrench of the correct size can make tightening the tank screw nuts a little easier. The first step is to turn off the water at the valve just below the toilet tank. Next, remove the tank cover and flush the toilet to empty the tank. Once the tank is emptied, use a turkey baster or similar to remove the last bit of water from the tank. I wouldn't mention this step to your guests next Thanksgiving. A sponge comes in handy for getting the last bit of water out of the tank. Once the tank is dry, unscrew the nut on the water supply line under the bottom of the tank. Using a screwdriver, loosen the screws inside the tank. Remove the nut and washer from each screw under the tank. Remove the screws from the tank. Lift the tank off the toilet bowl. Unscrew the fill valve nut on the bottom of the tank. Take the fill valve out of the tank. Remove the old sponge gasket from around the flush valve mounting nut. I had a little trouble with this next step, which is to remove the mounting nut itself. I had to saw it off with a hacksaw. Hopefully you won't have this much trouble. Clean up the tank bottom and around the toilet bowl inlet. For the rest of this project, it's best to follow the instructions packaged with your repair kit, but here are the basic steps. Put the coupling nut, rubber gasket, and fill valve mounting nut on the water line. If you have a different style of water line, consult your kit's instructions. Install the new flush valve from inside the tank and secure with the washer and nut provided. Hand tighten only. Place the sponge washer over the nut. Put the tank back on the toilet bowl. Your kit should come with new screws, nuts, and washers. If not, you will have to use the old screws, but always replace the rubber washers with new ones. Put the rubber washers on the screws and insert the screws into the holes in the bottom of the tank. Underneath the tank, place the metal washers and nuts on the screws and tighten with a wrench, working back and forth on each until the tank is securely attached to the bowl. Do not over tighten. If the tank and the bowl touch, stop tightening as you could crack the tank. Put the new fill valve in the tank and adjust its height so that the fill mark on the valve lines up with the fill line on the tank. Screw the fill valve mounting nut onto the threaded bottom of the valve underneath the tank and hand tighten. Push the rubber gasket up to the end of the valve stem and thread the waterline coupling nut over the end of the valve stem and hand tighten. Install the small rubber refill tube on the fill valve and clip to the overflow tube. Attach the chain from the flapper to the flush lever, leaving a minimum of slack. Turn on the water, wait for the tank to fill, and verify that the water stops at the fill line on the tank. And that's it. You should have a toilet that works just like new.